Hey y'all, this is Tanetta, your relationship coach at Speak Your Truth and your Bedroom Candy Boutique Consultant. I want to say hello to you all and good afternoon to you all. I come live um, about well, close to 5 o'clock just about every evening during the week. Um, I guess we're well, 5 o'clock here in St. Louis, Central Standard Time. So definitely make sure that you're checking me out around that time just about every day. Like I said, um, I come live every day just about 5 o'clock between 4.50 and 5 o'clock so that you can catch me with a different topic every single day, y'all, Monday through Friday. Um, this video here is talking about um, 10 sex, well, actually I'm talking about one sex ed fact that we did not learn in school. Um, this, this this one thing is talking about how we bring ourselves to the bedroom. Um, we're having to, of course, unpack all that baggage from years and years and years of drama, trauma, and all this kind of stuff going on. Like I said, we definitely bring ourselves to the bedroom. I know growing up, I don't know about y'all, but I know about me um, and many, actually many other schools too. When you're um, in grade school, that kind of thing, you may get one hour class. Um, the boys are separated from the girls and, you, and the girls are talking about, I'm sure similar things to what the boys are talking about, mainly learning, I guess, like your body anatomy and about your periods and all these kind of things. And then, of course, for a lot of us going through life, I didn't get any kind of other sexual education information from my parents at all, actually from anybody around me um, growing up until, let me see, when I got in college, that kind of thing. I, I was, of course, learning things on my own, reading magazines, reading information. Um, we didn't have online internet, that kind of thing. Of course, I'm 44 years old, so back in, what, the late nine, or mid-90s, all that kind of stuff, we didn't have the internet and stuff like that. It was just coming about with Facebook that was for schools only and for businesses and that kind of thing and different things that were online, but they weren't for the general public just yet. I guess I put, to my knowledge, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, having to, of course, learn all these things on my own, didn't know what in the world was going on. Like I said, I know I'm not the only one out there. And of course, like I said, I was experimenting with a whole lot of different things, different kind of toys I was trying to make and all this kind of stuff. Like I said, just to give myself pleasure, I guess I put it that way as well, and just to see how my body works because nobody ever explained that to me how my body worked what an orgasm was how it how it could feel pleasurable how it could feel pleasurable by yourself with masturbation hey now it's masturbation month it is May but like I said nobody ever talked to me about any of those kind of things nobody ever talked to me about having sex with the actual partner um, I guess a guy that because I'm, I'm I mean I like guys that kind of thing so having sex with the partner that kind of thing nobody ever talked to me about that not even the contra well the contraception, the condom, stuff like that. Yes, they did talk about that in school back when I was in grade school because this that was of course <clears throat> part of the scare tactics, I guess you could say, that they of course injected on us back then. They still do it now. All they talk about is of course, like I said, the body parts and um abstinence from sex and of course the contraceptive methods that that are available and like I said those were the things that they talked to, to us about back then and those are the things that I knew I guess with the condoms I knew that already the shoulders had to put it on, on a banana I think or something back in the day and talked to us about it and that kind of thing and that was honestly about it that was just one hour class and granted I was probably I was in fifth or sixth grade I mean I'm like all the way until I was like like I said damn near in college and stuff like that but like late high school early college that kind of thing I'm just reading stuff and and trying to get to know my body, trying to get to know what's going on, all these things. And I'm like, nobody ever told me anything. And like I said, that's what we bring to the table when we, I guess, when we go into our bedroom. I know, like I said, now I do have a partner. Of course, I've been married and divorced and all that kind of stuff in my past as well. And like I said, getting to the, the bedroom for the first time, that kind of thing with my partner. I can't say the first time because the first time I had sex, I was 18 going on 19 years old it was just I didn't feel anything didn't know what the hell we supposed to do he didn't really know it was just like okay what was the point but actually getting into a relationship with with somebody and of course having sex for the first time and the first few times that kind of thing with them I did not know much about my body and like I said I had to learn about my body as well like I said my, my the, the pleasure zones what is what masturbation was what an orgasm felt like with the partner and all these kind of things like I said this is all the all the all the baggage we all bring to the bedroom. And like I said, for a lot of us, of course, having to unpack all this stuff and unlearn a lot of stuff that we've been told and then relearn some things, trying, like I said, trying to get to know our body, ourselves, our orgasms, how we like pleasure or how we like to be touched or massaged or whatever it is. Like I said, it definitely takes some education, I guess I put it that way. And of course, that's why I'm here. Of course, I know I talk about relationships and that kind of thing and talk about bedroom candy, which is the, um, 
the sexual, like the adult products and adult novelties and toys and the makeup products and that kind of thing that you'll see here on this page. But like I said, a lot of us growing up, we didn't get that kind of education. And I know for me, as far as, of course, being here a relationship coach, I know we're all adults on this, on this page, or at least most of us are that I know of are adults, at least over the age of 18. And of course, like I said, in talking to, of course, our youth and even my god kids, I guess in the past, they didn't know about sex and all these body parts. And of course, you have to keep things age appropriate, but you do have to, of course, start educating kids at some type of age to let them know what their bodies are made of, what's going on. Of course, naming the body parts to make sure they have the appropriate body parts, the names and stuff like that. And like I said, we have to start creating, at least in my mind, that's what I envision as being a relationship coach and, of course, working with Bedroom Candy and being a sex, ed sex educator and things like that. This is something that's definitely passionate to me as well, as you can probably hear my voice and that kind of thing as well. But like I said, not just teaching us as adults. <clears throat> I'm teaching you all as adults so that you can go back and tell your kids as well. I know your kids learning all this information, I'm sure, from different I guess social media and all these kind of places. We have to keep that in mind when we're, of course, trying to um, tell our kids this and that about sex when they're 19, 20 years old. We have to start way before that, y'all. And like I said, that that's one of the things that I'm definitely passionate about. And that's one of the things that I'm hoping that you all are getting across here at, here at Speak Your Truth, I guess I put it that way, where I help educate and inspire you to speak your truth and be who you are within your relationships, couples and singles. And like I said, that's definitely something that I'm trying to instill in you all here. I'm not just talking just to, of course, talk about me as an adult or you as an adult. But like I said, I'm hoping that this information is making it back to your kids and to your families. And I'll do more of that, of course, more of telling, letting you all know, of course, my expectations, that kind of thing, and hoping that you all are, of course, agreeable, going, I guess, getting on the same path and that kind of thing as well, because that's what I want to see. Like I said, we have to unpack all these things in the bedroom. And like I said, we bring ourselves to the bedroom. I don't want to see another generation that's raised up who doesn't even know what an orgasm is. They're 20, 19, 18, 19, 30 years old. I had somebody tell me, about a month and a half ago, she's damn near my age, that she had never had an orgasm before. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm 44 years old, and she was at least between 40 and 45, I would say. And I'm like, come on now, we cannot raise, keep raising these generations of women or men not knowing what is going on with their bodies, what their body parts are made of, how they can receive pleasure, what the appropriate names for the bodies are. And like I said, that's definitely why I'm here, to make sure that you all know that. And like I said, I haven't done a good job of, of course, letting you all know that and my stance on these kind of issues and that kind of thing but you will be seeing that from now on starting today I guess we're well, starting with this video I guess I put it that way but like I said that's why I'm here of course yes I'm here to help the couples and yes I'm here to help the singles to of course learn their bodies to know about sex and to know about relationships in general when it comes to partners and having to like as romance and things like that we have like I can't say we all but some of us have no idea how to actually be in a relationship and not argue and actually have a conversation all those kind of things like I said I do focus on communication and things like that as well in the bedroom and outside the bedroom to make sure that we know how to relate to each other as men and women and whatever kind of relationship dynamic you have <clears throat> but like I said, that is greatly important. Those are all the things that we bring to the bedroom, especially when we're talking about communication. You, it, I know I back in the day, of course, when I was growing up, all I saw was my father beating the hell of my mother all the time, fighting, fighting, fighting. She got black eyes, bruises, bleeding, all these kind of things. We're leaving in the middle of the night to go make, well, she's making a phone call to, I'm assuming, was a police hotline or a domestic violence hotline or somebody, to help, I guess, to tell them about the situation. But we, she ended up going back every single time. And like I said, with me having no nobody in my household that was, of course, communicating on a level that was healthy, that was loving, and that was caring, and that was empathetic, I grew up seeing those things. And I grew up with, of course, my bad temper and telling folks what to do and acting like I'm this and that and acting like I'm smart as mom and daddy and everything else included. And like I said, I had to learn myself what a healthy relationship looks like. I know what it looks like officially now. I can say that I'm in a healthy relationship at this time, that I am in a loving relationship. I know what it looks like, to, I guess, like I said, to have communications, to have talks, to have conversations without arguing, yelling, fighting, and hitting, hitting each other. I know what that feels like. And like I said in the past, of course, my relationships, how 
calling and yelling and arguing all the time. That's what I was used to a lot. And that's what I, like I said, that's what I saw growing up as well. And the, the whole little generational pattern just went on and went on until I was able to stop that. And like I said, that's what I'm here to, of course, teach you all as well. As far as knowing that all those things that we went through as children until now as we're adults in our mid-ages, 30s, 40s, 20s, 50s, 60s, that kind of thing. All those things that we uh, we, we learned back in, from our environment growing up as kids until the age that you are now, those are a lot, those are all the things that you take into your bedroom. And like I said, giving you all like little snip, snippets of my, my life and things like that, my story, like I said, those were all the things that I took into the bedroom. I had no idea how to relate to people as far as a relationship and being in love and all these. I had no idea what the people say, oh, I'm in love and this and that, but they never tell you, at least I didn't hear about what it was was back when I was younger, what it was, how I felt, how you know you have it, had no damn idea. Nobody ever told me that. And like I said, those were the things that I took into the bedroom as well. And I know that I'm not the only one because I talk to men and women all the time that let me know the similar thing, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, at some point, I know we didn't learn any of this stuff in school. That's why I'm here teaching y'all this stuff right now. And like I said, that's why Speak Your Truth was created to, of course, start teaching the adults now, of course, all those kind of sexual ed, not just sex ed information, but of course, how to communicate inside and outside our bedrooms and how to, of course, relate to our partner in a healthier, loving, caring, empathetic way. And like I said, that's why Speak Your Truth is here. I'm going to repeat that again as I've been saying the whole video, but I just want to make sure that you all know that that's why I'm here. And like I said, all this stuff that we have to unpack going into our bedrooms, going to have sex with our partners and that kind of thing, those are years and years and years of miseducation, misinformation, or no information at all. And like I said, we have to learn all these things. And like I said, that's why I'm here. I'm here to definitely teach you all to provide as much information, education, inspiration, and definitely empowerment um, as I can to you all. So like I said, with that, I want to make sure that I got this video out today and talk to you all about this. And like I said, this is one of the sexual ed facts, even though I went into a few other things, but it had to be said as well. But like I said, this is one of the um, sexual ed facts that we did not learn in school. And that was how we bring ourselves to the bedroom, knowing that we have to unpack the education that we got from our families, friends, educational system, and that kind of thing. When it came to sex ed and, of course, relationships, a lot of us did not get that. So like I said, a lot of us having to um, not just unpack, but to learn different skills and tactics and techniques and that kind of thing in order to relate to our partner outside the bedroom and inside the bedroom. So I just want to say thank you all for tuning in. Oh, and thank you, Sis Makiba. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you're doing well, and thank you for coming to the video. I'm actually about to get off, so definitely make sure that you catch the replay. But I just want to say thank you to you all for being here. And for those who catch the replay, definitely enjoy. And again, I'm Tanetta, your relationship coach here at Speak Your Truth and your Bedroom Candy Boutique Consultant. I am here to, of course, educate and inspire you to be who you are within your relationship. And, of course, speak that truth to your partner as well. So, so like I said with that, I want to say thank you all again. And everybody take care. Have a good evening, y'all.